With passing time, micro-robotics is emerging at an incredible speed. And in the coming future, it is possible there will be microbots that won't be visible to the naked eye. In this video, we have for you the tiniest microbots and drones built to this day. And by the way, I've noticed that most of you watching this haven't subscribed to the channel. So if you like the video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It's absolutely free and you can always change your mind, you know? With that said, let's begin our video with the first entry. Number 10, RoboBee. The RoboBee's design was inspired by a housefly. Researchers see the RoboBee, which can carry a small camera, being used to monitor environmental threats and in search and rescue efforts. This 74 milligram flapping wings robot is able to move on the ground, in air, and on water surfaces. To move like an actual fly, RoboBee flaps its wings using piezoelectric actuators. The lightweight and the modified three-foot appendages help it land on water surfaces. And after landing, it has the ability to move around and steer on water as well. The newer version is being called X-Wing RoboBee. It's lighter than its predecessor, has an extra pair of wings and solar cells, and is modified but slightly larger in size. However, experts are certain that they'll be able to miniaturize it even more in the future. Number 9. All-Terrain Microbot Shaped like a rectangle and backflips when moving, this microbot is a sight to behold as it moves inside living beings without them knowing or feeling anything. Now, you must be wondering, why backflips? Well, because they're made to function as drugs, transporting them into humans and where the terrain is rough. Backflips work. They are cheaply made of polymer and metal, are non-toxic and biocompatible controlled and powered wirelessly from the outside by a magnetic field. Number 8. Robeetle Officially declared the world's smallest crawling robot by Guinness World Records, Robeetle was developed at Washington State University. It weighs about 88 milligrams, approximately equivalent to three grains of rice, and almost as heavy as a real beetle. This autonomous crawling robot runs on liquid fuel and uses an artificial muscle system to crawl, climb, and carry loads. It has four legs. The rear ones are fixed and the front ones move. This robot works more as a fuel tank and stands still when not in use. Experts hope that they'll be able to use this bot for solving engineering problems. Number seven, Harvard Ambulatory Microbot. A cockroach-inspired minibot was developed by the researchers at the Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. It is almost the size of a penny at about 2.5 centimeters long and weighs 0.3 grams, much lighter than a penny. If we talk about the speed, these mini cockroaches can go about 14 body lengths per second. It is not able to deal with water yet, but it can run, jump, and do some pretty cool tricks. Number six microscopic robots. These look like they've come straight out of a movie or something. Not exactly Heroes Microbots in Big Hero, but something like that. The first micron-scale robots were developed at Cornell University with semiconductor components that allowed them to be controlled and moved using electronic signals. And due to their so small size, they are usually manufactured in large numbers, about one million robots per four-inch silicon wafer. They are also called laser-controlled minibots because they're controlled alternately by flashing laser pulses to make them walk. Now, we all hear, wait, and wonder what amazing things can be done with these millions of laser-operated microscopic bots. Number five, Micro Bristle Bot. Developed at Georgia Tech, the bristle bots are multi-legged 3D printed robots that move by harnessing vibrations from piezoelectric actuators ultrasonic sources, or even tiny speakers. About the size of a small ant, around two millimeters long, the bot can move at four times their length in a second. Changing the leg size and design allows them to respond to various resonant vibrations, and connecting two bristle bots of different sizes allows them to be directed in the desired direction. Experts say that they might use these bots to sense environmental changes and move materials, or maybe one day repair injuries in the human body, we will have to wait to see if that happens, I suppose. Number four, small-scale soft-bodied robot. 
this robot is softer than the previous ones. Designed and created at the Max Planck Institute in Germany, this one is even capable of carrying objects. However, specifically designed to access confined and enclosed spaces, it helps in bioengineering and healthcare sciences. The previous robots that we talked about in our video have their limitations when it comes to movement, but that is exactly where these soft-bodied robots can be utilized, as they have high mobility and higher degrees of freedom with movement. They can swim inside and on the surface of liquids, roll and walk on solid surfaces, jump over obstacles, and crawl within narrow tunnels. The next step of the experts is to see whether it can cope inside a living organism or not. Number 3. Kilobots Our next robot was inspired by the way ants work, hence titled A Thousand Robot Swarms. Now this one is totally like what Heroes Microbots would have been like. A total of 1,000 microbots were assembled at Harvard University. They are all self-organizing, more like an army of little robots forming different shapes, such as a starfish and others too. At first, a demo was given by about 100 robots in a swarm, where they showed simple, diffusive behavior randomly moving here and there. With time, they evolved into a huge army. Hopefully, more will be coming in. They work by the infrared lights, arranging themselves into different shapes. This self-organizing swarm was created in a lab where they wanted to show the complexity and the beauty that lies within simple things. Number 2. Axis Vidius Officially declared as the world's smallest drone by the Guinness World Records, Axis Vidius weighs under 0.55 pounds. A video camera sits in it, allowing the drone to capture videos in 420 pixels. The Axis Vidius has a six-axis gyro stabilization system and can flip and roll 360 degrees while streaming videos. And it comes with a 2.4 gigahertz controller for controlling the drone and may be operated via a smartphone. The drone itself is a square with dimensions of 1.5 inches or less. The Picolissimo it's the world's smallest self-powered controllable drone. It is somewhat larger than Harvard's Robobee in terms of size, but the latter is powered by an external source and hence has more limited mobility. The propeller spins 800 times per second in the opposite direction, while the engine spins the body 40 times per second in one direction. Because the propeller is slightly off-center, the drone may be guided. Autonomously flying microbots might be utilized for crop pollination or to monitor agriculture for dryness or drought if they're outfitted with smart sensors. Minuscule Robots Researchers at ETH Zurich have discovered a method for fabricating micrometer-long devices that involves a complicated interlocking of several materials. Microbots like this will one day revolutionize medicine. They're tiny enough to navigate in our blood veins and deliver drugs to specific parts of the body. These little things were made using a plastic chassis and magnetic metal wheels that were propelled by a revolving magnetic field. Some of the robots can be driven across a glass surface, while others may float in liquid or on a liquid surface, depending on the polymer utilized. The scientists are now planning to create more complex shapes and machines, including some that can fold and unfold themselves. Number 1. Black Hornet A tiny, unmanned air vehicle is what they call the Black Hornet. Developed by FLIR Systems, this mini-drone helps armed troops in spying potential threats. This small, remote-control device has saved many lives on the front lines and is continuing to do so. It offers intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance support in critical conditions and without risking a human life, especially on the battlefield. This drone was chosen by the U.S. Army in July 2014. And do not be surprised, the drone went under quite a training too after its selection and was launched in 2018 finally. Since then, it's been serving its purpose. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.